Yes. This you is the Jenny I mean? McCarthy Wahlberg Donnie Wahlberg show. No, no, you went no. It's the Jenny McCarthy Donnie Wahlberg show. <laughs> we might scare Taryn right Jenny now. It's the Jenny McCarthy Donnie Wahlberg <laughs> show. You gotta sing that melody every time because if you go up, sing. then we get sued. I can't sing, but you know who can sing. I do know and who can act. sing because I seen him sing. You saw him sing. I He's our him first sing. guest, you guys. And I gotta tell you, when Donnie saw Hamilton, these are clues. Like I'm playing like Mass Singer, yep. who's our guest. When he saw Hamilton, he came home and said, you have no idea, this is the greatest Broadway play ever. And Taron Killam was fucking amazing. I want to go see him again and again and again. <laughs> and of course, we never went again, but you went again. I went again, but he was done. I know. Well, let's talk to him right now. Maybe he'll come back just for you. Yeah. Taron Killam, hi, welcome to my show. You say <laughs> the price of my love, not the price that you're willing, that you're willing to pay. To pay. <laughs> <laughs> Were you I guys just, just ripping off She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain for your theme song? Yeah, well, see, that's the secret. You, you, he you, goes you, off a note. Sorry, he goes sorry, I blew it. Note. You got to switch a note. It's one note. <laughs> it's it's one Jenny note. McCarthy and Donnie Wahlberg show. That's right, right. <laughs> That's right. Well, I sing out of tune, out of key, so it's perfect. You it, guys, you'll never be able to know the difference. Yeah, you're so proof. We're so slammed in the quarantine. We have no, yeah. she has no real radio show. So I've been hired. I'm actually paying her it. to be her co-host during the during the quarantine. And there's no music or anything. Awesome. So I just make it all up as we go. It's like pirate radio, but I want to give you, give you a proper introduction. Taryn Killam, okay, Single sorry. Parents. Single Parents is the name of the show, you guys. Wednesdays at 930 on ABC. It's an amazing show. Boy, I wish it was there for when I was a single parent. Thank you. Maybe when Donald was a single you. parent. Yeah, I was too. <laughs> Welcome to my yeah. show, Taryn. Thank you for having me. Happy quarantine, you guys. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. you're a funny guy. Are you um, making it funny or are you suffering? What a great question. Um, I think, yeah, I think I'm keeping it light. I think I'm keeping it light and fun in the house. We have two little girls um they are uh enjoying it so far you know like the blow-ups aren't really like why can't we go outside it's more like you know why did my sister steal my lego stuff totally. so it feels like we're we're maintaining uh sort of sort of a a, a a normal point of view um you know i'm sure you guys appreciate it. we are so lucky we are so fortunate and and Kobe and I just on the daily feel grateful. We just feel grateful and appreciative to everybody who's out there still working and putting themselves right. at risk to to help others. Literally putting like the human race in front of themselves. Um, Truly, this answer turned so not funny. You know what? You know what though? It's meaningful. Yeah, I win. Very, <laughs> I, win. Very right I can on. appreciate I win it. So earnest, so <laughs> hard. So I guess the I was... answer is no. <laughs> I was no, riding it with you. I'm like, <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, we got to mention the nurses and the doctors more and how yeah, we do need to yeah. not let that. They don't have to pay their student loans back. Like, let's help yes. them out. See, I can go on a roll. Yes. Um, but we, we've been trying to keep it light ourselves uh, in the house. We, I have, there's yeah. six men, six men in this house and me. Oh boy. Oh dear. Yeah. Five <laughs> men and one boy and I'm the boy. Let's just. I got it. <laughs> But we have Great. been entertained by yeah. by entertainment. I mean, it really is a, sure. a life a life raft for a lot of people. And yeah. you know, Tiger King, just Tiger King alone, sure. has gotten yeah. gotten us through fucking quarantine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was amazing. It, and it was funny how fast it happened. You know, it's this weird, it's this weird sort of juxtaposition of uh, you know this horrible crisis happening across the world. The first global pandemic the whole world is on board and yet it's like thank god for netflix <laughs> yeah it's true you know what i mean it's like it's you go ex you go existential and crazy of like this disease and human life is so fragile and and every it's affecting us every single one of us or you know someone you know but um, also, the crown's pretty good. The crown is fucking <laughs> awesome. The crown is fucking awesome. And Ozark is fucking amazing. <laughs> Ozark, and Single yeah. Parents. We got to plug yes, Single Parents. Wednesday, so 930 on ABC. Um, Taryn, talk about your character, Will. How's he doing? So I play a single father because it's a well-titled show. And Will Cooper is sort of a guy who who always means well and is and almost almost means well to a fault. He's always going above and beyond. His daughter is the center of his everything. And when the show started out, he'd sort of lost all semblance of self. Um, his identity was being his daughter's, his daughter's father. 
which is, you know, which is a noble thing, but too not much of anything laid. is a bad thing. It's not going to get you laid. The guy, the guy had not been laid in some time. So <laughs> we're coming to the end of our second season now. You know, I've got a handful of lays under my belt at this point. Nice. Um, yeah, and, and, and uh, you know, uh, we, we went off the air so that Modern Family could kind of have its proper send off. And um, that was such a wonderful show and fun seeing, you know, the extra long specials they were doing for it. And now we're coming back Wednesday night and it's our last five episodes of the season. And uh, I, I think we finished pretty strong. We've got some good stuff coming up. Well, I can tell you that people on my Twitter and friends of mine saying, you got to watch Single Parents. You got to watch Single Parents. It's so great. It's so great. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Woo! You're preaching to the choir, bitches. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and it's right on time. It's right on time to be coming back. Yeah. We, we need it. Everybody needs it. it. Totally. I, I think there's definitely like managing a child's schedule, keeping them <laughs> engaged and, and educated has certainly become much more relatable in the last month for, how all, old, for all families. How old is your oldest? 10. 10. Okay. So you're yeah. not quite at the age where... Um, uh, how do I put this properly? You want to drink yourself to death because as soon as they reach <laughs> 12, 13, 14th in a girl, yeah. my dad, I yeah. grew up with three sisters and literally right. it's the, you never believe what Sarah did at school today. She did the to lunch with it. And the stories are so boring and mundane <laughs> and critical. And literally I want to, so thank God I had a son. So yeah. just wait, you got a few more years, so enjoy it. I know, I know it's crazy. And see, you've got you've got six men in your house and I'm surrounded by three ladies and then and then three female animals. We have a female cat and two female bunnies, so it's like yeah. half estrogen over here. Um, <laughs> I guess I guess the silver lining that I've heard, who knows how it'll play out, but that like dad is at least the shoulder to cry on and then mom kind of becomes the enemy i don't you know i mean it, it, it's a ah. cliche but things are cliches for a reason um oh, so you. i know that my wife is really really nervous <laughs> but uh but for 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 the crazies to kind of take place um right and, and but i you know i i'm gonna i'm gonna say that we'll be the exception and my children will stay perfect little well-behaved angels their entire lives are you um <laughs> I'm sorry, I almost got through it. I almost got through it. You're so good. I, was I needed you. that. Like, I needed that laugh. I needed that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I'm doomed. I'm I'm doomed. You're talking doomed. You are you're doomed. You're doomed. I can't yeah. wait. I'm gonna have you back every year that you're doomed in that nice little window. Donnie, Donnie help me. <laughs> And the things I used to do behind my dad's back, me and my sisters during those teenage years, sure. you are, you're going to turn gray. You're going to have wrinkles. I you're going to be stalking oh. their boyfriends. I know I won't, <laughs> I won't twist the knife. I won't twist the knife. Oh. Are they, yeah. are you doing homeschooling? You're doing the, the e-learning, whatever they we are. It? Yeah, exactly. You know, it, uh, uh, the 10 year old school still hasn't officially said that the school year is done, but it's kind of the writing on the wall. Right. which is heartbreaking. She's, she's very into performing. She loves doing the school musicals and stuff. And literally the day before their spring musical, they were doing Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. They canceled the show. And they, they, uh. they said at first, like, we'll delay it. We'll delay it. We'll come back. We'll do the show. But they just said this Monday, yeah, we're going to have to cancel the show. It was the day before the first performance. No. It's so, so heartbreaking. Mm. And she was Charlie. She was very no, excited. No, of course she was Charlie. I know. I know. I assume nothing I know. Less. She worked so hard. It's, Are you uh, in New that, York? That, no, we're at, we're West Coast now. We're in LA. Did, did West Coast extend the stay in place? 15th. May 15th is now the official date. Um, but you know that's going to get pushed back too. You know, we do talk about um, so many uh, couples fighting during this time, even the most loving, wonderful. We are madly in love. But you're, mm -hmm. when you're quarantined, you're still going to have your bumps and shit. So how are you getting through that with your wife? We, yeah, we, um, like, Did our fights are, like, full of pregnant pauses. You know what I mean? Neither of us are, we, we don't really blow up. So it's sort of more like, um, I... <laughs> could have used your help today <laughs> it's that you know what i mean and i think i think yes. we're, i think our our ratio is pretty good we'll go like like four or five days and then we'll have one of those 
I um, <laughs> was needing to get things done and <laughs> that wasn't allowed for. Right. Um, That's but no, perfect. no. <laughs> we, we speak that in our house. It just sounds more like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then walk to your neutral corners. I, I said sure, today, sure. everything, it, we should make a motto for everybody to follow like a commandment that says everything is forgivable during quarantine. Yeah. Except, of course, yeah, cheating. 100%. But 100%. everything is for anything you say, anything you do in the yeah. house that's stupid. If you're or someone texted me today and said, I'm fighting with my husband so bad. I said, About what? She said, About donuts. I'm like, That's a perfect fucking example. You, you fight about the dumbest shit. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it should be Vegas rules for the quarantine. What happens in quarantine stays in quarantine. Yeah. How did your um? How does your wife? Does your wife sound exactly like that, or can you do a good impersonation of her? Pissed off. Yeah, it is. It is. That's that's more her. And and I'm like I'm like uh, 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 you know I go squeaky. I'm a little bit closer to your kind of goblin goblin pitch. Like the man. Mine's more like I I I I, I, I yeah. tried. <laughs> I, I I I'm I was doing that too. Yeah, and she's definitely more the you. Um, I really needed you to be on dinner, and um, I just feel like I was not supported. Well, I, 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 you need to say it. I'll do it, yeah. but you need to say it. You know when they do those pauses, that the blanks are actually Mad Libs. <laughs> And you can fill in the blanks with all the worst, awful words you can think of. That's what the pregnant pauses are. It's Mad Libs, yes. Exactly, exactly. I needed, motherfucker, to uh, help do the yellow dishes. (laughs) Exactly. You weren't there, so... Well, that last one didn't work. We're talking to Taryn Kikakillum his show yeah. is, <laughs> no it works it all works his show is called single parents wednesdays at 9 30 on abc you know this interview is going to take a dangerous turn right now which um Ooh. i know i have down here to ask you this which super bowl do you have the tougher time getting over super bowl 36 <laughs> in 2002 uh, or super bowl 53 in 2019 uh, 53 just because like uh, i was sitting there in it i was sitting there in it and yeah it, it, it was so me and my buddy we were like we were like first row, probably um, 25 yard line visitors side. And Aqib Tlaib got this interception from Brady. It like ended the first quarter and it was like right in front of us. And both me and my buddy Ronnie were like, here we go. That's the end of the game. That's the momentum, here we go. And then we sat and watched three and a half quarters of the most boring, not just Super Bowl, but football game ever played. And just, you just felt the air sucking out. And like, there was, there was nothing, there was no extraordinary play even for, and Donnie, you gotta be a Patriots fan, right? Oh yeah. Of Of course. course. Yeah. So, you know, you can't, you can't feel, I mean, you got enough to be proud of, but, but that game, like it couldn't have even been that enjoyable for you. Uh, We won. So W is a W. W is a W, Donnie. W is a W. Everybody listening knows a W is a W. It, you know, but yes. I'm saying of watching the game and enjoying the play of football, that was such a boring game. Yes. Now I will say you're from Culver City, is that right? Or, or Big Bear? Yeah. Where? So, uh, so you're a legitimate Culver, fan. Up in South Bay. I'm SoCal guy. I didn't. You really are have legit. Football team. I'm a born and raised SoCal native, and I promised myself from about the age of like 17, 18. Whoever comes back, because I knew we'd get a team in my lifetime. It, it just, you know, second largest media city in the country. There was no way. And, and, and what football is now is not what it was in, in 92, 93, sure. when, when all the sure. teams left. Um, so I just knew we'd have a team. And, and I just kind of vowed to myself that I was going all in on whoever came back. Because beforehand, I was probably more of a Raiders, like an L.A. Raiders fan of, with like Marcus Allen and Bo Jackson uh-huh. and Howie Long and Ronnie Lott just promised i made a vow like in high school that i was i was going to become a diehard and so yeah they've been back four seasons now and it's been it's been really fun to have football back in la but that that super bowl it was like it was like going on the best roller coaster that just suddenly stops you know like like right before right before the big drop 
you do like a couple of fun like up and downs and then you go tick 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 here we go we're going for the big drop and then it just like please uh, get, step off of the roller coaster <laughs> everybody keep your hands yeah. in your laps we're going to remove you from this ride um <laughs> And it was, yeah. Uh, yeah, so it was, it was, it was rough. It was rough. So that one, that one's just feels more personal, that loss. Yeah. Um, I would have rooted for, for the Rams. I, I have to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I, I don't want to take up the time for you to talk, but I will say we kind of knew we were going to win when they went to the coaches and told them the roof would be open for the flyover. Oh, yeah. And Belichick said, what the hell do you mean? They said, no, it'll close 11 seconds into the game. And Belichick said, that's going to affect the kickoff. I got to go talk to my coaches about this shit. And he stormed off. Yeah. And uh, you guys, coach was like, yeah. really cool. What? The I, planes I, are going to fly over? Awesome. Yeah, I was yeah, like, said, we're I winning. G, G golly or something. Yeah. I was like, we're winning. He showed me oh, that clip. <laughs> yeah. He showed me that clip like five times. He's like, look, look at the coaches. <laughs> yeah. I knew it was going to happen. Taryn yeah, Killam, yeah, you are true. you are just a joy to talk to. I'm really happy for you. Single right, parents, everyone, you. check Thank it you. out. Ray Reviews, Wednesdays at 9.30 on ABC. I hope you come back and give your wife much Anytime. love from me. Tell her I'm there to I support will. her, even though I'm not Thank there. you, guys. You're awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Taryn. Yeah, take care. Bye. 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 He, All right, guys. He, yeah. he, no exaggeration. Hamilton is the greatest thing ever. He was so good. You kept That's saying so he was nice. so good. <laughs> Oh, you're still there. You were supposed to hang yeah, up. <laughs> you son of a gun. That was he, my favorite move just I, then. You know, I, I wanted to ask. He's still here. If he can hear me, Wait, I'm going to ask. He's going to ask this question. I was yeah, going to ask. Go for it. Yes. Yeah. There was so much cheeky looks you did to the audience. Now, I saw you, I think, at the end of your run. <laughs> okay. Did you always bring the cheekiness every time, or was it like later in your run you kind of got more comfortable with it? Because it was just I, I, brilliant. I, I, that's cool of you. Thank you so much. Um, and I, and I, I, this is going to seem obligatory just in nature, but I can't tell you what a fan I am of you as, as an actor. I, I just thank you. Think, thank you. Um, uh, truly, truly from the sixth sense and, and dream catcher. And I just, I just think oh that you're God. magnificent. Thank and you. I think your I think your commitment and your dedication is, is just, um, so admirable. I just, I've re respected your body work for a long time. Thank so that means a lot. The point is that means a lot. You complimented me. I'll, I'll be honest. The first two weeks of that run was the most nervous I've ever been in my life. Cause right. like I came into Hamilton, right? It's right. not like I jumped into a Broadway show. The album had been out for like a year at that point. It was a year and a half into the Broadway run. Peep the expectation. It was, uh, this is without exaggeration. I got more requests for Hamilton tickets in the three months I did that than for SNL tickets in the six wow. years oh I did God. that show. Wow. It's, I swear to it. Yeah. So, so you just don't want to be the guy to stink up, you know, not just the show, sure. but like for, for people who are spending crazy money, like people, their savings, putting their savings into it right. and have been waiting for nine months to see the show and have been listening to the album every day and like just have such expectations you want to deliver. So, right. I think the cheekiness and those things were encouraged from day one. They were like, you know, right. your scene partner is the audience. You, you don't right. have anybody else on stage. Oh, right, right. So your that's scene fun. partner is the audience. Yeah, that, that's what I was told from day one. But, you know, like the literally the first like three days of shows, because I, I, I'm, I'm like taller than a lot of the guys who played yep. the king before. Yep. My crown kept hitting the set as I was walking <laughs> <on>. <laughs> I really had to kind of figure out how to duck under the raft. It's so like tink tink, and and the third time, like it got knocked so so hard, I was like stiff singing the song, and then had to cross. And as soon as oh I turned across, God. the thing crashed to the stage. No. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It was wonderful. Uh, it was great. I wish but, I got to see you. I wish I got to see you because literally he came oh, home for that and nice. only talked about you, and then he brought oh, his son. Cool who also fell in love with you. And yeah. I'm like, God damn it. I want to see it. And uh, my calendar awesome. never worked out, but just know that you were talked about in uh, such a high manner. That's yeah, whatever, so whatever flattering. compliments you just gave me, uh, that was my moment for you. I just, I mean, I already Funny. liked you anyway, Thanks, but I was just like, holy cow. Just Thank you, really brilliant. So brilliant. obviously that's you just fun. won your way back here under the show. Cause we really yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> Taryn Killam, I don't think parents. you guys have realized I'm not leaving. That's the point. <laughs> That's right. That's right. You can join yeah. us for Teddy Mellencamp next. No problem. <laughs> no, no, no. Sure you watch no, Housewives. Okay. 
Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I sincerely Thanks, appreciate Taryn. it. Thank you. Stay safe. Make sure you guys check out Bye. Single Bye. Parents Wednesdays at 930 on ABC. Let's take a quick break and come back with Teddy Mellencamp. Can't wait. I want to say more good things. <laughs> 